<sighs> Good morning, everybody. It is 5 a.m. and we are about to head out for our trip to the East Coast. All right, you ready? Yep. Okay, let's do this. We'll pull you guys out probably along the way when we head there. So yeah, anyway. So we are headed to the airport now. I woke up at 1.30 like in a panic thinking that I missed taking you guys or like <laughs> forgot, I don't know, that I slept through my alarm or something. So I, I flipped over, looked at my phone, I was like, oh, it's 1.30, what the heck? But you know when you wake up so early and your eyes, they just kind of hurt because you didn't get enough sleep? Oh, my eyes! Oh, my eyes! My eyes! They're being dried out by the air conditioning, that's what it was. Dallin has been eating snacks this whole morning, because I've been hearing him. It's just been crinkling stuff back there. Can't beat him, join him, right? I got one of my own. <laughs> Flight. See ya. Thanks for taking us to the airport. I'm not really sure what qualifies you to walk around in the airport with a big camera, but we're doing it today. That's for dang sure. Okay. We don't have any TSA pre-check today, so we're gonna have to wait in this long line. Um, sir, can you put your camera away, please? Sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry. Whew, well, we made it. Put it in there, pal. Oh, I'm excited. Panda Express, Dallin gave me one of his uh, peppers. <laughs> he has the hiccups. <laughs> so hot. Just letting it all out, you know? It's been an emotional day for Dallin. Let's make him a nose run. It doesn't help when I have these two cannons here. After this, we're gonna board our plane, then we're out of here headed to Baltimore. So now we are currently headed to our plane. Ali? Ali, yeah, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody. Thanks for choosing Delta, my man here. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> make sure you subscribe to his channel. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So, to make a long story short, my buddy Dallin and I decided to visit our buddy Seth, who's been doing summer sales in North Carolina. But we're just waiting for Sethy Boy to come pick us up, so we'll just wait until he gets here. Give me a hug, you fill the animal. Good to see you. Made it to uh, beautiful Baltimore. Good morning, Baltimore. Look where we're at right now. That's pretty neat. Baltimore's pretty cool. All right, let's go get some food and then head to our Airbnb. All right, we are at our house now and it is bedtime. This is our little Airbnb and it's just this little room. See this little wall. This goes right up in there. So tomorrow we are going to be walking around DC and we're kind of wanting to just soak it in. So we're not going to take the camera with us. Good night, sweetie pie. You better sleep good. I'll tuck you in. Good night. <laughs> good night, everybody. We love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just want to win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again. Yeah, state your name. No. <laughs> Tell us what happened, Dallin. Uh, I was uh, booty bumping, and I guess my booty was a little too big because I broke the <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes there's a time for booty dancing and sometimes there's not. And uh, the time to booty dance would be like at the dance party. Um, the time to not booty dance is maybe at church. Oh, another time to booty dance would probably be in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had Seth's face on camera. I was just like, when he's at, he was so... <laughs> I thought he was gonna cry. It's like, Seth, it's okay, I promise I'll replace it. We visited Philadelphia, got a classic Philly cheesesteak. So the meat is ribeye steak. They cook it in this, it looks like a mountain of ribeye steak. And... Whew, okay, we just got to the stairs. These are the stairs that Rocky Balboa ran up Sylvester Stallone. So, Dallin and Seth are gonna do a race. 
up to top and I'm gonna film them. I got this in the bag, not even a question. Why is that, Seth? I just, I've got the drive. I think down may be a little faster, but the competitive, that's where I go over the top. Okay. Easy win, that's all I got to say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. I'm gonna head up the stairs. Three, two, one, go! Sure, Dallin won that one for sure. We spent most of our days in New York City. We stayed the night inside of Brooklyn at our fourth Airbnb. We rented city bikes and we highly recommend it. It was the cheapest and one of the quickest ways to get around. The subway is something we also recommend. It is cheap and very quick, but also some interesting people on it. While in New York, we also went up the Empire State Building. Saw the Statue of Liberty. We ate some New York pizza at Grimaldi's. How was it, boy? Mamma mia. Times Square and so many more places. Sure. But anyway, we are just enjoying this beautiful place here in New York. It's as cool as everyone like makes it out to be. All the huge buildings, there's nothing like it. We're surrounded by walls. It's crazy. Perfect. The weather was perfect, although the humidity made my hair a little insane, but it kept things interesting. So, as you can tell from probably the look of my hair, today we had a crazy day. Now here's a little tip. Don't have a pizza eating competition with your friends. Today we're going to be doing a food eating challenge. What determines the loser of this challenge is whoever doesn't finish the most food. The first and second, it doesn't really matter. Whoever gets first or second, but whoever loses, they have to suffer the repercussion. And what the loser will have to do is they'll have to do two of the following. Number one is the cinnamon challenge. Number two is the hot pepper challenge. Number three is the gallon challenge. Number four is the shaved legs, hair, or your eyebrows. Five is Sprite banana challenge. And number six is eat a whole orange. <laughs> Okay folks, this is a wrap. I lost, Seth won. I think this pizza challenge has caused me to rethink a lot of the decisions I make in life. <laughs> Hold on, you gonna throw up? <laughs> You're making me laugh either. I'm not gonna throw up, but that might, if I do throw up, it was because of that last bite. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna go throw up. Uh, let's go follow him. A few moments later. <laughs> What's up guys? So we are here in Rochester, New York. The pizza challenge that we did while we were in Brooklyn. Um, yeah, that challenge. We're doing the second half of the challenge now. I lost that challenge. We have a bunch of numbers right here. I don't know why I'm okay. nervous I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna keep mine in my hand. I really don't wanna do that. Okay, don't look at it. Okay, everybody look at your numbers. One. I have four. Five. Crap, what is it? <laughs> Four shaved legs. Oh, flip. Okay. <laughs> Number one red challenge. Okay, what's your second one? Because you lost the Yeah, I'll do a hot pepper challenge. Okay, we just got to the store and we're buying all the stuff. I have two jalapeno peppers because they don't really have anything else here at the store. So I'm just gonna chat down two jalapeno peppers, shave my legs. Seth is gonna get some cinnamon. Dallin is going to get bananas and Sprite. There's Seth right there. Seth! There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only. Got wow. cinnamon. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we just woke up and figured before we hit the road, we're in the jungle, we're in the foresty woodlands, and I might as well just shave my legs today. Pa pow! Ba bang! Today, I'll shave like from the knee down. Time to dive in, boys. You look 12 years old, you have a beard! Look at that hack job! <laughs> so much hair. This may take a while, let's just like. I don't know, let's just maybe cut to the next leg because it's, it's kind of weird. Okay, so I look like one of those birds of paradise, you know, how they have like weird... Yeah, my hair is crazy. Okay, we're gonna start out with Seth. We're not really sure why we're starting out with Seth, but Seth had to do the cinnamon challenge. Uh, and so just put it in and try and swallow? Take your time. I'd say let it- Do like, I get to like moisten it up in yeah, my mouth? Yeah, like as much as you can. And then if you need to, use as much water as you need, okay? Okay. Okay, go for it.
Just keep coughing it out. <coughs> wow, comes out in like chunks. All right, so Dallin is up. He has a duel. <laughs> so Dallin had the banana sprite challenge. <clears throat> yeah, so we were looking it up. We um, some things said like one can, something said a liter. We weren't really sure, so we decided to go for kind of in between. This is a 20 ounce bottle, so a little bit more than a can, a little less than a liter. Um, but we're hoping to see if it like actually does some sort of reaction. From what I read, you eat these bananas, they're gonna be in your stomach. Then when you drink the soda. It has like the gas bubbles in it and those are going to want to escape which is why you normally burp after drinking soda but apparently something about these bananas kind of coats the bubbles makes it more of like a foam instead of just like a gas and so it's a lot harder to burp you can't just burp it out but it has to get out somehow and that's why a lot of people throw up so we're testing that to see if that's true or if people are just throwing up from drinking a whole lot of soda <coughs> it's good breakfast yeah if you can keep it down <laughs> We don't have a lot of time, so we wanted to give it enough time to do a quick uh, chemical reaction in my stomach. These are really good bananas. Really? They're super tasty. They're like really ripe, but not too ripe. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> oh, and we're camped. We, we camped. This is our third, fourth Airbnb. Okay, here we go. I don't want to lose those gas bubbles, you know. I don't want to, like, I don't know what is going to happen. I don't want to move out of the way or... I'm it's not, really gassy. I'm not sure if I should move out of the way or if I should just sit here. He turns right to me. How do you feel right now? I can feel my stomach kind of expanding a little bit. But I just burped, so I don't know. Okay. Holy crap. It's a lot of soda. All right, well, there it is, 20 ounces, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we're just gonna move on to Brandon until I throw up or I'm fine. This seems like a pretty easy challenge. <coughs> it all stays down. It seems like you're burping pretty well. Seven up, man, it really, or Sprite, it's it's a, one of the gassier sodas, so. All right, so I'm gonna set a timer five minutes. I have to eat these jalapenos. I just have to take two big bites, just and eat them all, and I have to wait at least five minutes before I can touch any of the other food. You guys, I love flavor of food, and I love spice, and I love like zest and all those things, but when you have too much of it, it's never good. And we're gonna be doing a hot pepper challenge sometime in the future, but I just have two basic jalapenos right here. <laughs> I can smell it. the uh, on the scale of I don't know one to ten what's your hotness level right now <clears throat> so it's probably like an eight I'd say Brand's a nine out of a ten hotness level you heard it here first he's a nine ladies get at him mainly on my lips it just hurts oh this is weird it's actually helping oh. three two one go yeah, I'm feeling uh, feeling pretty good. Stomach is um, a little gassy. I could burp a couple times, but no, I don't feel any like extreme stomach pain or discomfort. This is all a bad idea. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching. If you don't mind uh, doing like what the kids said to uh, like and subscribe on this video, hit the bell to uh, be notified when we're posting our next week's video. We'll see you guys then.